With violent storms and other natural disasters becoming more commonplace, scientists have continued to search for reasons for the changing face of Mother Nature. But some need only look up for their answer. If there's any one topic that makes me the most passionate and craziest regarding the, uh, the book I wrote on 2012 and what's coming, it's, it's the Sun-Earth relationship. You cannot understand life on the Earth without understanding its relationship to the sun, which is its practically its sole energy source, any more than you can watch your TV without, without plugging it in. There's some kind of cyclic activity on the sun, and that the sun, for whatever reason, uh, has a period of violent solar flaring, which occurs every 13,000 years. We do know from the record that exactly one half processional cycle ago in the age of Leo, 13,000 years ago, was the largest climactic shift and change and the largest extinctions since the dinosaurs, since 64 million years ago. If we understand where we are in the cycles of time today and we know where to look in the past, then we have a really good idea of what conditions we can expect in our future. Because nature follows very precise rhythms. Could we be entering another period of violent solar activity? And if so, what might be the consequences? I happen to be attending a solar physics conference in Colorado. And there are a hundred solar physicists, and they're all gathered there, and, and there, was, there was Harvard and U.S. Naval Observatory and Stanford and Europe and Asia, just brilliant people with credentials and impeccable. And that week so happened, coincidentally, it was, came right after Katrina, to be the second wildest week ever recorded on the sun with mag magnificent, horrible explosion sunspots billowing out. And this was, again, right in the middle of in a remarkably unstable, unstable period on, on the Earth. It was never mentioned. It was never brought up, not at the coffee, coffee hours, not having drinks afterwards. So it was like the blizzard in July. It was going in, and not once was it mentioned. I, I, was, I, I felt it, there was an emperor's new clothes thing going on here. If the Earth and Sun are truly bound to continue the 13,000-year pattern, are we looking at another extinction? The Sun is going wild. We need to know these things. Because you know what, between now and 2012, the Sun is going to increase in its activity. I can't help but wonder why we're being protected from this information, or why it's not being given to us, the lay people. Maybe the powers that be are worried that if we find out what's really going on with the sun, a panic will arise, and I understand that. 